In this video, we'll use both the on-premises Horizon console and the Horizon Cloud Next Gen Universal console to monitor various components of a newly created Horizon on-premises environment. We'll start with the Horizon console. Log in with your Horizon administrator credentials, and the first thing you see is the dashboard. Click the issue number next to System Health in the Navigator to get a color-coded snapshot of the health of various Horizon components. In the System Health section, it just lists issues, if there are any. Click View to drill down and see the system health of various components. Besides the connection server, we have remote desktop server farms, vSphere data stores, vSphere hosts, and vCenter servers. Other components include the domain. SAML 2.0 is for Workspace ONE access integration, which we don't have right now, and the license service. For components, we have the connection server, app volumes. We don't have a unified access gateway. The events database is fine, and we haven't configured a true SSO certificate server, so nothing there. Now I'll scroll down to the total sessions section. It shows the connected sessions, and I could do all sorts of stuff from here, like disconnect or log off the session, reset or restart the VM, or send a message to the user. Back on the dashboard, scroll down and see all the machine status information. This is for desktop VMs. Click RDS Host to see the machine status for the servers. And we don't have any other types. Now let's have a look at the Horizon Universal Console in Horizon Cloud Next Gen. After you log in to Cloud Services and then Horizon Cloud, you get here, the Horizon Universal Console. In the Navigator, expand Resources and select Capacity. Click the name of the Horizon Edge to drill down and click the Infrastructure Monitoring tab. Click View in the Horizon Edge Appliance row and it will tell us status information, such as the CPU and memory usage, number of connected sessions, and users. Scroll down and you can see a graph of memory and CPU usage over time. Right now we're looking at the last four hours. Then the Services section shows the status of all the many various services running on the Horizon Connection server. Okay, now to look at some Workspace ONE intelligence for Horizon. Scroll down to the bottom of the home page in the Horizon Universal Console. And in the Actionables, Insights, and Analytics section, click Launch Intelligence. In the Navigator, you see under Virtual Apps and Desktops, Horizon Operations Overview. Select that and it shows you monitoring information for your Horizon Edge and on-premises Horizon Pod. If I click on the pools chart, I can drill down and get information on the sessions and users in that desktop pool. It might actually take about 60 days to collect enough information to be useful. I could also create a report, and there you have it. For more Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.